Jinxum Nation. We are at HWR Waitail Ranch in Gatesville, Texas. I'm pretty excited. We've got we're after a black buck antelope, and uh, we took a little ride around this afternoon. Man, there's some giants in here. So hopefully we can get one to cooperate. Come in here tonight. Got the feeder out here. It's gonna go off at six o'clock, so we still got half hour probably. But there's some really good black buck antelope in here, so you folks stay tuned. I'm freaking pumped. I'm ready to put the whack on one of these big old boys. So hopefully we get her done. So stick with us, see what happens. That was kind of a bummer. That was a giant black buck. He just, he seen me in this, in the stand. He freaking stopped out there about 40 yards and took a look up and was like, I don't like what I'm seeing up there. So, dang it. He was a good one too. Real good one. So probably one of the biggest ones on the ranch. So. I've had a good evening set, actually. I've seen um, a nice fallow buck. Um, I've seen a nice whitetail buck, still holding. And uh, then I a shed buck. I've seen three black buck antelope. And uh, oh, we got deer coming in right now. the black buck I was after. I seen him last night and he busted me in a ladder stand so after dark we come in and hung a little stand and kind of side door him and he come in just like we was hoping that he was going to. Man these I'll tell you what you folks that think this uh, high fence hunting is like a canned hunt with a gun probably so. Not really canned, but because these animals are, those black buck are wound like a 10 day spring. So I think, Eddie, I don't think he knew I was here. I think he heard me, heard me draw back. He just heard that sound and didn't like what he was hearing. He only ran off about 40 yards there. I was honestly thinking about taking a crack at him, but and he walked off, so. Then we had a bunch of rams come in. Had another black buck, and I think he had four, maybe five year with him. 
they went back further into the ranch. So it's still early. You never know what could happen. So keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully we'll get something done. I still got all these rams standing out here, probably 100 yards. I got three white tail over here too. So all we can do is keep grinding. Hope to get a little bit of luck to freaking change and kind of come my way. So, like I said, for you folks that think these uh, high fence hunts are easy, these animals know what they're in here for. Believe that, and they don't tolerate they don't tolerate any mistakes at all. So, all right, stick with me. We'll see if we can't get her done. doing a midday sit probably end up sitting until dark honestly if uh, if it takes that long so we're in a new stand actually my own personal stand that brought with me we moved it and we've been seeing a lot of black buck up in this area so I was seeing them from my other stand location so we moved it this morning after this morning's hunt and uh, so it should be good there's a lot of black buck coming up through here so um, this morning I seen like six or seven different uh, bucks and they were all right come right up through here so we're gonna hope they're gonna do the same thing here this evening this afternoon even and uh, find out what happens so it's been a great great I, I, I can't even state enough it's been a great trip um, Brad and Bobby from Hensel Whitetail Ranch awesome 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 host they got a great ranch here a lot of good stuff going on here so we've done pretty good we've got quite a few animals on the ground and of course I, i've been holding out with my bow trying to get myself a black buck with my bow so and it's not easy let me tell you what these things are wound like a 10-day spring so we're gonna try it tonight i'm gonna run with bow the rest of today and um, then tomorrow the last day of the hunt I will be breaking out the rifle so um, I'm going home with a, with a black buck <laughs> no matter how you slice it whether he dies from uh, a broadhead and hemorrhaging or he gets lead poisoning but either way we're taking one of these babies home with, with me so you folks stick with us it's about game time There they are, folks. There's a, that one running in the center right there, the little dark one, a couple of them there, actually. There's about three good shooters in that group. We'll see what happens. So, oh, we got them coming in close, hold on. Okay, they might be close enough. I got the, I got the gun, I gave up on the boat.
There you go, buddy. You got it done. That's a nice one. I've been, like I said, you guys have been following me. I've been hunting this ranch for, this is my fifth day, sixth day today, and been chasing these black buck with my bow and finally said, you know what, it's time to break out the rifle. Um, so that's what we did, and I just got a dandy. So, folks, stick back. I'm going to get my stuff kind of packed up here a little bit, and uh, we'll take a walk out there and take a look at it, see what we got. He's, he's a dandy. Let's go see what we've got. All right. Come on in here, Bobby. This is Bobby, the uh, Bobby Geiger. He is the master the master guide, the ranch manager. He has been busting his tail for me this week. He has, like he said, more stands for me than he has for anybody. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta move stands with these animals. They're, they're not, you know, jump in and, you know, everybody takes high fence hunting and says, fish shooting fish in a barrel. You've been here hunting how long? <laughs> this is my sixth day. Yeah. Six days, and I run five days with the bull, of course. I've been telling you guys that. And these things are going to be the death of me. I'll tell you what. They, they're just, they're so weary. They're just constantly, I, I honestly, I think these animals are on alert like 100% of the time. The wind blows too heavy, and they, they'll just, they're, just bust out on you. They're like a whitetail. I mean, they're as weary as a whitetail when it. I would give them maybe even more. Well, <laughs> to be honest and, with you. And to me, sometimes it even seems like they know you're looking for them. Right, exactly. And that's where they come down. They did see that blind I had up there in the corner. They kind of give it a few looks, but um, I did have earlier, there was a doe that come through and I actually moved. And I think she caught even just a little bit of that. And she kind of was Jump, looking right yeah. at me, jumped, freaked yeah. out and run up yeah. and caught up with the rest of them. And then they all ended up heading out. So it wasn't no big deal, but I was like, man, that thing seen me, I'm a hundred yards away and seen me and I've only got my little small window. Small little wit, yep, and that's yeah. the thing. And you know, any anything that's different than what they're used to looking at, yeah, they may, pick up on they it. They pick up on it instantly. Like I said, I've been busted. I had one that picked me off in a ladder stand about 60 yards out, looked right up, knew I was there, and just turned and took off. Um, I had another one that busted me drawing my bow back, heard or just heard my cl my clothing moving. It was pretty quiet. He was close, 10 yards, but um, yeah, he blew out of there too. So they just don't tolerate anything. I mean, it's, and I ain't telling them we've got um, old, uh, Caleb over there. He's been running with the bow too, and he had a little misfortune, but we're still hopeful that that's all going to work out. I think it will, uh, you know. There again, you got to, I mean, I give credit to these animals because it's it's a lot of work to hunt these animals. You know, a lot of people think it's, you know, come in here and shoot right away. No. Uh, I mean, you know what? I could have let them break my gun out, but I like that challenge. And um, it was tough with a bow. You are, I'm going to tell you right now, you are not going to come down here and do a one or a two day hunt with a bow for black buck. Not saying that you couldn't, because of course that could happen. But honestly, um, I've been running five days and I've been hunting hard. Got the last three days pretty much. I've sat for pretty much most of the day. Get Eight hours morning. a day. Yep. Easy. Yep. Yep. Getting yep. In at like, you and Caleb. Yep. We've yep. been getting in at noon, one o'clock and uh, just sitting on them and waiting and waiting and waiting. And well, the I mean, last two days, I mean, we're out, you're out here at 615 and you sit till nine, come in and eat and turn around and come right back yep. out. Yep, and we've sat in sunshine, we've sat in rain, hail. we've sat in hail. <laughs> so yeah. it's been a, it's been a week. It is. It's been a great a great hunt. So again, you folks, check out HWR Whitetail Ranch in Gatesville, Texas. Bobby, it's been a pleasure. It, it, I hope it's is been it, as much a pleasure it, for it, you to have. I'm ready me for about for three days of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, right, folks. You tune back in with Jinx some sense again soon. We'll have some more going on for you. See ya. This hunt was made possible by HWR, located in Gatesville, Texas, your number one exotic hunting destination.